Welcome back to Desi Mix Radio 1077 HD2. Good job, DJ here. DJ here in the house. In the house, chucking the fatte. Good job, buddy. Friday night. Chuck it. <laughs> Alberta to aake, gonna chucky on the fatte. You gotta represent. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And then b- back to what we were talking about earlier. Sorry, Dablo, I didn't get your opinion on who would you think if Jay a uh, rap beef chalpi between Sakandar Kalo and uh, Sunny Malton from Brown Boys. Who do you think would win? If there was like a one versus one track. I like Sikandar Kahlo's lyrics, his, uh, but I like Sonny Malton's flow. So I guess it would depend right on the production. So you, so like the overall production or just the beat? Uh, I would say overall. Overall, right? I think lyrically Sikandar would be better. Yep. But I think with Bird, um, Sonny can work some magic. Well, obvi- well, obviously, Big Bird's not included in the conversation. Obviously, <laughs> yeah, he'll yeah. he'll drop a sick beat anyway. But he needs to have all the help yeah. he can get, though. But uh, like, that's the thing, though, right? Like, Musayara, he's just. I think know. honestly, bro. I think nowadays it's just. It doesn't matter. Like, if you have all the time in the world to produce a track and you have a proper beat, the delivery is good, the bars aren't messed up, like everything flows, and like you spend time on it. That's what it's going to depend on. It's not going to, like, in today's society, like, if you look at everybody, like, they don't judge things based on just lyrics. They'll just have, like, a fire beat, right? The beat's fire, so, hey, this song's fire. No, the lyrics are garbage, right? So it kind of goes back and forth. If it, Like, me personally, like, I like a good beat, but I like lyricism, right? Uh, yeah. Especially with, like, old school hip-hop, which I'm really into, right? I look at like the meaning behind like you know what people are saying yeah but if there's a garbage beat then that kind of like messes the track up do you guys yeah, agree of course like, yeah, yeah, yeah of course of course uh, like this is the thing with, the, with music the beat can carry the song right but yeah. sometimes like the lyrics if it's crap like i don't know it just might just ruin the song for you completely but sometimes, sometimes the yeah. artist can carry the beat too though <sighs> it's all subjective so right? between <laughs> yeah between those two guys sunny malton i don't know it would it would have to be like hey what's your definition about who won right who was more lyrical or like who had the more fire like bumping beat if Malton got his help from Big Bird and he dropped a sick beat I don't know that's all he needs I think he that would be more mainstream and a lot more people would be like yeah you know that's fire whereas Sikandar Kahlo like I haven't I'll be honest like I haven't really checked out too much of his work yeah but that's the thing right like he doesn't have a bigger bigger hit out of them like he doesn't have a song really that is like a breakthrough artist track I think he needs needs some proper uh, even though he's really really again I'm not saying nothing against Sikandar Kahlo like I think he's dope but uh, maybe just a different direction right like with the, the beats the music or the delivery I think he has a lot to say, but the delivery has yet to be seen. That's my opinion. Who do you guys think is be, uh, bigger worldwide? Out of Sunny and uh, Sikander. Oh, Sunny Malton. It's Sunny, because the Musa yeah. I think, too. Right? And he's obviously really talented as well, man. Like, it's, Sikander, can't take away I think, has uh, India under control, though. But Sunny, I think, has all of North America and maybe the UK. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just uh, on, on a global too. scale, with Siddhu Musa as help. Obviously, that's a whole other topic, right, to discuss. But uh, with Sidhu's help, of course, Sonny Malton's probably built a bigger name for himself. Yeah, of course, of course. The bigger team following, right? Yeah. Uh, seems like even like Sakandar Kalung guys, even the rappers he raps with like a lot of the time or even like recently, a couple of wicked tracks, actually. That OG song is really good. I like that. That's right. Um, yeah. That was one actually I really liked out of the last couple of tracks of his I heard. Uh, even with that forgot the guy's name who's with him he's really good too actually some new artist but like th- that's what i mean is newer right they're not really established like i yeah. said sikander Ka- sikander Ka- like he he has a lot to say and i think that if it's delivered properly on a track with a proper beat he would slay sonny malton for real yeah you never know you know just do it guys do hey, it. that's just my thoughts you guys look like, you guys let us know <laughs> yeah, what, do you, what what are your personal five uh favorite Punjabi or even like Hindi rappers, you could say from India, basically, or even Punjab Bra- Brown, basically. Top five. Top five, not in any specific order either. Just Brown it. rappers. Pretty uh, much. 
I don't know. I, I think Bohemia I got, has to be I, up I can think too. about three right now. Uh, I'd say number three, Bohemia, right? Yeah, he's always in the uh, global. He's been around for forever. Sure. He's one of the originators, too. Number two. You guys ready for this? Sultan. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's a good choice. Wicked lyrics. Wicked. But again, similar to Secundar Carlo, the same thing, right? I like Sultan's lyrics. His Punjabi, everything is just so like crisp. Like his, his everything is wicked about him, yeah, right? He has a really good I code. just think that, like, uh, for example, um, what was that last song? The Kalachabalia, yeah, whatever. Kalachabalia. That's yes. a wicked track. Like, th- <laughs> see, that that sounded wicked, right? Sometimes I feel like uh, with his older work, it. like his lyric or, or his voice is like uh, more over the beat mm-hmm. or the beat still or whatever, right? But. Um, I would put him at number two. I think he's got a lot of talent, and if he's teamed up with the right people again, he'll definitely kill it. Number one, sick ick, baby. Oh, yeah, he's really oh, good. Oh, I pulled a Houdini. Yeah, right he's, he's really good. <laughs> but he's just an overall phenomenal artist. There's no love for Fateh over here? No. <laughs> Fateh is really good, too. He definitely... I, he, see, the, Fateh is really hey, good, Hey, actually, too, you know what? Oh. Sorry, Fateh. Yes. He's dope, too, man. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, I might even put Fatih at number three. Bohemia, I kind of understand, honestly, half the stuff he's saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> you just put me on the, you, <laughs> you, you put me on the spot, right? He's like, yeah, hey, yeah, yo, course. give me your top five. I'll no, give no, you my top no. three. Bohemia, sorry, bro, you're out. Fatih's been Fateh, featured in uh, more popular three. songs with popular artists, right? Which Sultan hasn't really had. Yeah, Yeah. well, uh, he just dropped that Gary Sandu track. That we can't the way I look right at now. it, like, Sultan, like, he's so... He's not like mainstream or anything like that. Like, you know, he's, he's behind the it, scenes though. and mm-hmm. with his lyricism and the voice, like I know like I know he would like kill Yeah, it, he like, he's you know, he's gonna do really well. You've seen him grad like gradually get better as an artist. They yeah. also now he's getting more mainstream tracks too, right? He had the D Jandu track and then um you know, primarily he was more underground kind of, you know, like he didn't the have more mainstream songs, but he's working with more bigger artists too now. Even though he's he's really good, man. I I put him up there in the top five for sure, even for me. And then like uh, man, even uh my personal favorite is still Lil Golu. He's still <laughs> my favorite, uh just because he just the compositions and everything and what he what he says is some complex bars. It's crazy. Uh I he's still one of my favorites. But I I still need to hear better work from him recently, man. I've been just you don't know what he's been doing with the music lately. I've been looking forward to it, but it hasn't hit like it did a couple years ago in like 2000 and uh, I want to say 2009. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a, like, a little long time. It is, but you know, I was in that era. I was like, oh, never heard of him. You know, those are my years. Sorry, logo. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> you must have heard. Uh, you, fuck that, you've heard of his songs, Dabo, but you don't know. He worked with Honey Singh. He was like his protege. Bata. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bacha, at one point, they were like. I thought you were asking me, like, hey, guess what's the number <laughs> four? I'm like, oh, I don't know, Bacha. No, but that Bohemia definitely, obviously, he's always in the conversation. You know, initially, yeah. he was one of the first guys to do it like that. I remember when I was in like grade 10 or 11, around then, like, uh, Kali. Oh, Dimani he was. Out, dude, and we're, we're like, where's this guy from? We're the same age, so I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah Kali <laughs> so Dimani like, was it like. Is, it was so different. That G track. That was like Big Bird and Sonny Malton today. Like, yeah, see, like, it was one of those game changer <laughs> artists. But it was Bohemia. Tracks. His album was a really, really good album. I bet you can't even spit one verse to it. You can't understand the guy. Kali, <laughs> <laughs> what? In the. <laughs> 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 no, but like, what? Like, what? Like, uh, what? Like, I remember the, <laughs> I just I just yeah, Okay, yeah. hey, Joven, if you know, okay, DJ here, if you know the lyrics, <laughs> spit it right now. I can't, I can't freestyle. Come on, <laughs> I, I want to hear. Hard pass on that one. <laughs> so need honey, come on. I take a hard pass on that. <laughs> next, next. Wow, you're like Joven dropping a freestyle. <laughs> oh, Put wow. me on the spot there. You, you can't. I, anybody listening at home, if you can rap a whole Bohemia song, I don't care who it is, what language, let me know. Oh man, there's gotta be people. Maybe not Kali Dinali, because like that yeah, was like, that was more of his. But the, I can get what you're saying. Okay, too. any new song, like let's listen to him his, and just his tell me. His new song, Ash, actually, that's great. You brought that up. Yeah. Like he's, there was a period where you know it was just cold music, right? Like for a while, like mm-hmm. it wasn't quite like Badia Ganesi, but nothing crazy. But then recent, recently, within the last couple of years, it's been pretty solid. He has that track with Jazzy B. Like, yeah, that's fire. Right? That yeah, is a good yeah, track. He's got, he got fire music yeah. out too. Dude, uh, that Ash song I really like. We played at the station a lot too. Even I play it. It's ro- in rotation here. Yeah. Obi Gana Ball with Yeah. We play that a lot here as I well. I just can't understand him. I, I, he's fire. Yeah. Uh, Raftad <laughs> as well. Uh, Raftad I really like. There's one specific song of his I really like with uh, Suki Musical Doctors. 
all black. It's also programmed in the station. You guys should hear it often. It's a really good track. And the video is really, really cool, too. Definitely I, check I, it. It's called All Black. I think so who so is your number one, then? If I had to choose every... Man, it was probably Lil Golu. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta... <laughs> is it, you know what? I'm gonna send you some stuff, man. Check it out. It, it, but if you didn't like... Like, you like Bohemia, but, the, you know, the bars might go over your head. Even for me, like... Oh, no, man. I said, that's why I like okay, it too. I said Sick Ek earlier. Yeah, but he's but more of a producer, and so R and B. That automatically puts Sultan in number one. So yeah. Sultan's you know my what? favorite Punjabi rapper. Lil Golu go. was in the Crazy Yacht track by Jazzy B too. Yeah, if he remembers that. Sorry, Golu, I don't <laughs> know who you are. <laughs> he also works with I, I'm sure if I listen to it. Yeah, you um, know what? Yeah. It does good, decent. He's really good too, man. And same with composing beats and stuff like that. Like he has good tracks too. You know I'm sure if you showed me the track, I would. Yeah, know. no, 100. Yeah. percent I know you've heard it. Yeah. <laughs> I know you have. I just like the name. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's funny, but yeah. he definitely like is in the conversation. But then again, recently, Gold, no, yeah. man, not so much. But Sultan's a definitely a good pick. There's so there was so many, but there's not so many. You know, it's really hard to actually, as a feature artist, like it's so hard for you. Like if you're a rapper, it's so hard to be a main artist. Like you know, to be an actual, to have a single on your own as a feature mm -hmm. artist, it's so hard in the Punjabi industry. That's the thing, though, right? You have to be working with an established artist to get yourself even noticed. Yeah, and then you have to keep working with established artists. You don't have to, but I mean, like, it's so hard, especially for these Punjabi rappers. Like, yeah. there's too many artists, break, there's like, too many songs, and it's too hard to keep up with. It, you gotta stay uh, credible. And India market too, like, it's constantly changing. Like some stuff that they talk about over there, obviously, doesn't correlate to over here. You know what I mean? Like. Even some of the Punjabi music and just Ghana in general, like uh, even if you guys notice now, just music in general out there has kind of been repeating itself. Seems really like uh, kind of bland a little bit lately, where they're running out of ideas, you know. Yep. So like especially Bollywood, yeah. Even with quarantine, the same kind of music coming out. I know what you mean. Yeah, then I'm not sure if you guys saw the or heard the video from earlier. It's on my Facebook. If you guys haven't, I think yeah. everyone's saving their fire tracks for after COVID. You know what? It's true. You're you're actually right about that too. Um, yeah. Since nobody knows really when shows are gonna go back on, yeah. that's let's face all it, that between stuff that is and promotional merch. material that people artists have worked on. So yeah. why would you release it now when everyone's just sitting at home? Like no one's out spending money, right? Yeah. yeah. But the, the top people like the Musiala Karnaza, these guys will still be killing it, and you know the top five ten. Of course, Musiala's gonna kill it. Apparently, he took everything. <laughs> 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 ching ching. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> right. You know what, though? I, I believe, you know, back on that topic, though, I believe Bird and Malton guys more just because of, like, they gave, like, really detailed info, like, we gave them, like, you know, we're charging 3500 Yeah. And, you know, I it seems like it's real. Like, they wouldn't just come out and say that, you know? Like, that type of stuff, that's, like, actual facts, you know? Yeah, no, I was totally Team Sidhu before, right? I think it was just because, like, I really uh, enjoyed his, like, he was just different, right? Like, the, as an artist and, like, the in the Punjabi industry. So, I didn't want to say, like, oh, like I don't want to believe it. Like, come on. So, do you have a mother? I thought you were a mother. I thought you were a mother. I thought you were a mother, but you're like, come on, man. That's right. what I'm doing. A, a lot of stuff that the brown boys said, man, like, I don't know. It's But look at Big Boy Deeps on uh, Bird Guy's side, right? And yeah, remember they were talking yeah. about the homicide, Ghana? And you know what? It might even come down to, like, just understanding, like, this, this is the Western culture with the brown boys. True. Sidhu straight from India. So You know what? That's so, so no, right. listen, yeah. right? So yeah. some things that Sidhu might find disrespectful in Canadian society or American society, we might not think it is. And it goes vice versa, right? Yes, man. This is exactly. So I think that's exactly right. what happened. Yeah. yeah. They You're also released that album a few months ago. Uh, Sidhu had a feature on it, and he didn't even share the album, right? So that seems kind of fishy to me. Yeah, there was a, there was a few things. Like, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. Like, you know, it's like... But then again, like, do you really know? Like, do you honestly... The way that things I look, I, I, like I said, <laughs> I went from Sidhu Musial as a border to, like, <laughs> over to the brown boy side just because of, like, everything that they're saying. Sidhu in his live was like, you know, I'm not the one to sit on lives and talk about everything. But, bro, you're on there for so long. Like with he was doing all the exact this same other thing. stuff, like you, like you really just, I don't know, like you had all this time to talk. You made a lot of good points, but the brown boys fired back, and there was more things. I was like, maybe he needs another video. I don't know. I think the brown boys were getting too much hate for calling him out in the beginning. 
that's why they had to release all the details, right? Because well, Musiala has got bigger following, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. it's, that's the thing. Exactly. Like, yeah. They're gonna get outnumbered, like in terms of fan base. Like yeah. uh, even though I, I would side with those guys on this story personally, just because of, you know things. I don't think that stuff, anybody wants to leak Heather's anything after like a beef to look petty, but you know what? You know what's petty, guys? What's petty is posting that video. Oh, Sonny Malton with Karn Osla, <laughs> right? Oh, so, yeah. uh, uh, Gito the Machine, right? Brown boy, I'm a brown boy. <laughs> and then they, they post, he posted the video. Karn Osla replied, he's like, basically, like, you know, the people that I've cut off in my life, they're already cut. Like, this, this kind of like petty stuff like that they're doing, like, I don't know, man. It's back and forth. Am I on anybody's side? I don't know. I think they're making this into a circus. I thought initially it was, but now yeah. I'm like, it's actually real. Oh, trust me, I'm the biggest like spectacle guy. Like I'm like, well, no, I'm like, uh, they're doing this for views and everything. And I was doing that for a long time until they started dropping numbers. When they started dropping numbers, saying like X amount for this song, you didn't pay for this song. Like, then I was like, okay, it's something personal now. Now it's now it's beyond Ghana. Now it's yeah. not like they're talking, you know. Also, like you owed us for this and that. You guys have to think that publicity has a big thing to do with Huge, people. man. Yeah. That's why they make yeah, papers. Same with media and everything. I right? don't think the singers can take advantage of the producers, right? The singers are making six figures per gig, right? And producers are making what? Five to ten thousand per song? Right? They don't get enough credit as it is. Yeah, yeah they always get overshined by the artists. And, and that's the contract, man, right? If if you know you have a talent and you rock at it. You know that you're gonna have to have a lawyer and you're gonna have to sign contracts and make sure that stuff doesn't get played against you. And this is a, a reoccurring thing, especially in the hip hop industry. Artists sign up to these big label contract or uh, big label companies, rec recording uh, labels. Labels, yep. And uh, you know they sign up not knowing how much they're gonna make. Like, for example, like. Uh, I, I'm actually not going to mention any names. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not a hip hop. <laughs> it's not a hip hop show. That's a, no, that's okay. for a different station. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, uh, one one of the rap artists, right, like made a really huge song that we all know, and he only got paid something like eighty thousand dollars for, it, and the producers made like millions. Yeah, no, that's so many stories like that. I wouldn't say even millions, in the Punjabi industry too, thousands, yeah. right? Um, <laughs> You know what? I'll pull up some of these stories, but I know for sure there is. I, I remember. I can't remember. I don't want to say it on the radio right now without pulling. I know. I'm trying to buy my talk too. It's actually in the millions for sure. Sidhu's <laughs> team also copyrighted all the songs that Big Bird had posted on YouTube, so now they're putting his name as a producer and music too. So yeah, like you see all these issues happening Petty. recently Petty. around the same kind of thing. It's like you know, jitte <laughs> 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 Has to be guilty. Has to be guilty. It just seems like you know it keeps happening, uh, hearing stuff, this and that. Like how how Dabble, you were saying it's funny, man. You're like, okay, people like Punjab, India, they have a different mindset yeah. about like like this situation, like uh, especially in India, Punjab. Like they'll tell you one thing and do something else, right? Yeah. Just to yeah. like shut you up, basically. They'll be like, koi na koi na zya, ho right? And then they'll stop, they'll ghost you, right? Because they don't really have an answer for you, right? Maybe there was no money, like, until a certain date. And so he's just like, until I don't have money, I'm not going to call him. Right? Yeah. Or whatever. But that's he it. ghosted him for about two, three months, though, right? So. And, like, look. I don't think that's right either. Even from artists, credible artists, right? Like, even you, you guys, I'm sure, as well. But, like, I get songs even before they're released, right? Not mm -hmm. even before the radio, too. Mm -hmm. Like, just to listen to a review, get my feedback back, right? This and that to other people. Because people want to hear, like, other people's opinions or whatever, right? Whether it's good or bad. And uh, even from that, like, I don't understand still how Ghana leak. Like, yeah, there's the occasional case where the audio engineer will leak it if it's like a very super popular artist. Like, I think, it's, Musiala, from, like, I right? think it's from mismanagement no, they and do it being themselves. sloppy. No, what they do is this. Yeah. They do it themselves in like 90% of the time. So what they do is, let's say there's a song, right? And leak it on air and be like, oh, Ghana leak. Ho gaya. It's not the full song. It might not even be the full version. Yeah. Like the actual fully, like not even the complete track. It could just be like the bed tracks whatever, right, rough, rough copy. But then they'll see, okay, is it gaining traction on YouTube? Did he leak it, right? Then also, then they're gonna make a video. Yeah, it doesn't- they're like, why should we dish the money? I no, said it before, I'll say it again, publicity. It doesn't discredit the uh, the artist, but it discredits the producer. Because the artist will still get the booking, right? He'll always be touring. Yeah, but then that guy might get getting more bookings like for music too, right? Yeah, but it's like pennies to whatever yeah. the artist is making. Yeah, what the heck? Uh, because, like, the performance is different, too, right? Rather than just, like, making a beat that is there and then sent, you can, you know, performance, you have to be yeah. in front of people. But know, most of it's lip syncing, right? Nowadays, yeah, man. Especially in England. Like, 
unless there's guys like Bakshi Villa, even like Legends Group, this and that. Like I love the live singing, but I'm not a big fan of all, like how they do the lip syncing, man. Even in India, some places they do it, obviously, but like live all India, but the the lip syncing thing is too much, man. So they're char- <laughs> they're yeah, charging prices of singing live, though, right? But they're yeah putting on a show for the audience. That's why even sometimes going to a Punjabi show, it's like, oh, man, we look production. You know, that's like, <laughs> Dilji's show is, like, spectacular, right? Yeah, but, but he was better with the True School money. band, though, before, back in the day. Yeah, True, true School band? Yeah, their, their band is solid. It's solid. Wow, yeah. Then, uh, you know, what are some of your favorite tracks right now? Uh, I'd probably have to go, like, Poli Khar and Ajla, like, Chitta Kurta, um, Pyar Bolda by Just uh, Dylan. Oh, yeah, that's uh, solid. AP Dylan is huge right now, too. Yeah, he's getting uh, super popular. Deadly. Yeah. There's the whole Jasmine Stanley is still up there. I'm still a fan of Sip Sip. Uh, Gary Sandhu's killing it right now. He just released Jack. Oh, with the Sultan, right? With Sultan. Yeah, right? yeah, that's right. Yeah, what are some of your favorite tracks right now? Oh, man, that's a good question. <laughs> because... Uh, a lot y- of music, right? There is, you know, there is uh, the Chet uh remake from DJ Vix. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, r- I actually really like that. Um, there's a sample in there that reminds me of the 90s, actually. Uh, that and it'll be just that Ghana too it brings back a lot of memories man but that's a good track right now that I've been feeling obviously you know I'm still listening to old school the Prem Tindal Musia like I see you have it up there the I seriously keep listening to that song too man uh, I'm still listening to my old school like everything Hardy Sandhu always listening to Hardy Sandhu sure, especially sure. there's a mashup we have programmed in here I forgot what DJ made it but props to you old mashup bought <laughs> Jade Badia crazy mashup uh that even the landers right like more than like huge yeah tracks. you know what um the birmingham song's not bad either shout out to all our listeners from england but you'd be from birmingham <laughs> right uh, gup sarah too right he has sarood um label black still popular he is doing all these mashups right now too. you remember gurp sarah is like one of his first uh, popular tracks coco chanel remember that, coco chanel, that was a killer yeah song. that was a really good track too uh, the really cool, that was a good track they yeah. Amy Burke's been doing a lot too, right? He's been doing a lot of covers recently. He has been doing a lot of covers. I uh, saw that Rankala Ho Gya cover today. I loved it. With, um, he also did one with yeah, Mankiri as well. Oh, right? he, oh he. that's the same that's one. Yeah, Mankiri is all today. Wow, yeah. Oh, shout out Thandi. See you on the Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and... Uh, <clears throat> but I didn't like his cover of the Dalshad Akhtar. I was a fan totally of Totally ruined it. Totally ruined it. Man. Classic Ghana. Just I thought it was a good remake, like, though. I know he was trying to do, like, an <laughs> homage, but I was like, oh, no, man. Like, you can't do it justice. Like, first, the vocals aren't even comparable to, like, a Dulchad Akhtar. It's tough it's to really replicate, good. though, right? Any remake's not going to be as good as the original. He's, he's got to try, at least. you got to <laughs> right? try. Like, you got to do something while you're quarantined, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. They're just doing it for fun, right? Time pass, Cardea. Exactly. That's about it. The more views, the better. And then we're going to... We, I'm sure you guys saw this on my Facebook earlier, too. It's been going viral right now. What about Prem Dillon, too? We had Jat Tundaya. Sorry, Gera? Which uh, one? Jat Hundaya. Jat oh, Hundaya? yeah, that's a good track, too. A Dude, song, there's too. a actual lot of good tracks. Like, I don't... When you say new songs, I mean, like, new that new came song. out this week. <laughs> like, I listened to the Monarchy uh, Managed Music track. That was huge. It, yeah, it's not bad. I, I don't mind it. It's pretty good. I'm a big Monarchy fan. also like Managed Music, RDB. There's obviously a lot of RDB programmed in the mm-hmm. station, man. If you listen to it, like, you'll hear RDB a lot. Um, even just managed music alone, it'll, they've obviously had their issues and whatever did their own thing. Yeah. Uh, Maniki, hopefully Maniki makes a comeback. Uh, I think he has a couple new tracks coming, but we'll keep that on the exclusive. He for just now. had so many hit tracks. Maniki, phenomenal. But you guys, you guys saw the Karnajla video, right, from earlier? Yeah, that was crazy. Right. We're gonna play the audio for you guys right now, just in case you guys at home haven't heard it. But it's on my Facebook page. Uh, we're gonna play it. ਜੀ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਹਾਲ ਚਾਲ ਨੇ ਹੋ ਫੁਲੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਠੀਕ ਠਾਕ ਹੋਵੋਗੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰੇ ਇੱਕ ਗੱਲ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਕਰਨੀ ਸੀ ਅ ਬਾਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਅ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਵੀ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਕਈ ਆਪਣੇ ਚੋਣ ਵਾਲਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਵੀ ਭਾਈ ਅਗਲਾ ਗਾਣਾ ਸਨੀ ਮਾਰਟਨ ਤੇ ਬਿਗ ਬਰਡ ਨਾਲ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਅ ਜਾਂ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਪਾਈ ਹੋਣੀ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਬਹੁਤ ਪੁਰਾਣੀ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਉਹ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਦੱਸ ਦੇਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਵੀ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਉਹ ਘੱਟੋ ਘੱਟ 2015 ਜਾਂ 16 ਦੀ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਹੋਊਗੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਐਕਟਲੀ ਯਾਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਪਰ ਇੱਕ ਗੱਲ ਮੈਂ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਕਰ ਦੇਣੀ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲਿਸਟਾਂ ਚੋਂ ਕੱਟੇ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਕੱਟੇ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਬਾਈ ਇੱਥੇ ਚਾਰ ਪੰਜ ਲੜੂ ਜੇ ਪੇਚ ਵਾਲੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਕਹਿ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਵੀ ਇਹਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਐ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਦਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਲਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੇ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਕੁ ਹੈਗਾ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਦੇ ਸਿਰ ਤੇ ਚੱਲੇ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਅੱਜ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਵੀ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਐਵੇਂ ਰਹਿਣਗੇ
So what do you guys think is going to happen now? He's just Nothing. Like, They're not going to work <laughs> with him. <laughs> it could he's happen like, one day. He's I think. like, he's done. Yeah, I don't think so. Carnagela, a huge artist. He's not going to. Forgive and forget. Uh, I don't think he's ever going <laughs> to work with them. Ever. Yeah, I don't. Garn- Garnaja doesn't come across as the kind of guy that's gonna like to go. sell out his character to go back to people that were originally dissing him. That's my opinion on that. No, it's true. It's true. Um, totally understandable, obviously. But it would be wicked if they work together, though. It would be different. I think it'd be better than to do Yeah, I don't know. Like, they're two different personalities. Garnaja working with them, I don't know. That'd be kind of weird, man. See, I know they have in the past, but but lyric, lyrically, there's no one close to Karn, I think, though. In the yeah, he's, re- the he's, moment. he's really, really talented. Again, going to the delivery, the voice, mm-hmm. everything, everything uh, produced properly, like the effort that's put in. Bro, everything overall, his tracks are so good. Like his l- lyrics are obviously he's like the best in the game for sure. He's like top artist, like yeah, the top for sure. for sure, right? Like. Probably even the best. You can say between him and Musa, is basically everything's been him for last. It's a like toss up. That's it. Year right? and a half, two years. Uh, right? And they and going to that, if if I had to decide, you can't really decide. It depends on the category, right? Uh, you know, it comes to like uh, Western music. Yeah, to it's, it's yeah. so true. Desi music to whatever. There's just too many things, right? So no, it's so true. And then yeah. based upon that, like, see, this is the thing, though. The argument is okay. Did Musiala make Big Bird and Sunny Malton, or you know what I mean? Like, I think na- it's a little of both. And, and and the thing is, like Musiala was still working with different um, different producers as well. They built for a bit. They right? basically like built Sidhu the and Brown Boys. That's it. They made like, like, like there was an interview as a collective. There was an interview. They asked him in India. They're like, hey, uh, like in Punjabi, obviously, they're like, oh yeah, you see, kidna, you know, gaane on karte the hai, right? Musiala didn't even mention Bird. He just said the kid. <laughs> I, th- I think I think they took offense to that. I'm pretty sure, man. You would probably take offense to that if you. Were I think they gave him the gangster image, right? Because he, ma- a bird mentioned that Sidhu was asking him for like chains, um, cars, like the yeah. people that are gonna be in the music video, right? Yeah, they were saying so bird. That was Bird's Rolls Royce yeah. in the video. So they had a lot to do with what he is now. Like from so the so high video, that's what built his foundation. Yeah, see, so high, like that track is one of those game changer tracks because it just like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> honestly you're right about that because that started the boom that, that was, was like boom. that started like the okay now we can start doing music like this where people for us personally as djs uh, we're all from q-town yeah, yeah how many times have you guys done parties where you play a song that's a little bit western with a beat and all the auntie come up to you like okay like you know like, we'll change this up or like uncle's going nuts right you know what though like, if it's like a moose but track, though, that track like but that <laughs> track though oh, yeah. so high yeah. after that I found that every time I DJed, like I can drop more beats into my tracks. Like I'm originally more of like a hip hop kind of DJ, but dropping those kind of beats with the music, making it sound more fire, people get more into it. Yeah, now. of course, of course. It's yeah. more acceptable it's a, well, it's like now. It's more that, acceptable. That's yeah. the thing about Bird, though, right? It's like those heavy kind of trap beats um, that go down. But like you know, sometimes these days, man, you gotta switch up your style a little bit too. Even though like I know that's a signature thing and that's a thing, but sometimes, man, you gotta be versatile too. Right? And no one even knew Sidhu when he's a lyricist, right? And that's like so high took him over the edge. Yeah, that was just that was such a big. But he had so I many think great. That, I think that out. that song really opened up the doors yeah, for Punjabi rappers and gangster music. Not even just gangster music, hip hop being incorporated into Punjabi really tunes, DC, right? Like, like that's what I'm talking about. Not even just like you know playing it at receptions, just generally. Musa has a really good writer it, too. It's man. been a good. It's been a good. Uh, collab- collaboration between Canadian background and Indi- Indian like this background, right? So it's a mashup. I, f- yeah, I found that a lot more, you know, a lot of kids growing up these days, right? They they found a passion in that and that's the beauty of DJing and uh, music production for us as well, right? Like we, we get to chop things up and make things new and uh, I'm glad it's more uh, acceptable now and it's on a bigger stage in the world, globally. So we, we would say that they'll never work together, basically, out of the whole conference, <laughs> right? Never. <laughs> we don't feel, okay. <laughs> that's, we, that's a definite, like, I, like uh, again, Karn Ajla, man, like, he's been killing it since yeah, he got yeah, in the game, course. and he's not going to just go back. Like, he doesn't need to. Like, if anything, yeah. Brown Boys are going to be going to him. Like, look at what he posted. 
Yeah, yeah, right? exactly, like, right? Yeah, well, like, that's a, the bigger artist, right? Everyone, and plus it just works out because the, you know they've had not yeah. them direct specifically, but I guess Osla doesn't need them. Osla. They, who they knows need what the Osla holds them. <laughs> who knows? In their like picture perfect mind right now, Sidhu out, Osla in, never gonna happen. Holy well, we field and Tyson have called it cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> What's that? I'm like, Holy field and Tyson called it cool. But artists, <laughs> only, <laughs> gun off, man. artists <laughs> only stay relevant for so long, right? Maybe there is a time later, like in the future. Where he might need them again. Of course, but I mean, still everybody those, has their There's time. still those breakthrough artists, though, man. Like, you know, like obviously in English music, there's like a Drake, or like a Musa. has been pretty consistent. That's what I was talking about. Well, like, even like a Jazzy it opens B's the doors. For years, yeah. Right? Yeah. There's always exceptions, yeah. mm-hmm. right? But they're also at that point considered legends as well. Are they generational talents at this point already in their careers? Yeah, man. They're still both really young. For sure. But would you consider them a generational, though? Like the thing with Musi, Musi, I got so Genera- fast. Uh, it depends on who you ask, right? Very in a small <laughs> amount of time, more than like yeah. any other artist, that, like uh, for that I felt in like our generation, that like he blew up big he time. He blew up so fast. He reminds and me of like, like good, like there was like a, so yeah. many leaked songs of his. They were crap quality. They were just like you know, he could sometimes the, the DJ's tag would just keep going off like yeah. so much, right? Like if, if we're talking about like a time period, to like s- before Musi, who was Hot, who was banging? Jazzy B, yeah. before him, Guldeep Marnik, Chumkila. That's all I could think <laughs> about that were like banging. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Ben Darkia, yeah. of course. Legend, yeah. right? And that's a good question, actually, uh, DJ here. Um, generational, it just depends on who you ask, right? Uh, if you're, if you know your Dissy music, you're into like really into the Dissy uh, industry, of course. Definitely, he is up there with considered generational. And then I ask you, is Karnajla generational? I think he would be. He has yeah. lyrics. He has the vocals. Yeah. He does everything. He's written for other people as well, man. Like, it's, you know, and awesome hit songs, too. I think we wouldn't be having this conversation before the Brown Boys beef because... I know <laughs> I know, Joven, you are like, yeah, Sidhu, like, all, he's, he's in the wrong, blah, blah, blah. Before all this stuff happened, yeah, Sidhu, Karnajla, yeah. generational. The conversation was now it's like, oh, who did what, right? But he said, I mean, wha- said. I mean, what is it to us, right? The music, mm-hmm. the, the vocals, awesome as a person. That's a, that's debatable, right? Going towards Sidhu and the Brown Boys. Yeah. So. All we want is yeah. fire music from anyone. Yeah, just want everybody. <laughs> to get yeah, as DJs, time. that's all we want. <laughs> just keep dropping some dope music so we can just like you know. Jive out of it. Yeah, yeah. No, that, like, I wonder, the Roti song, did you guys like the Musa Roti song? No. Not really. Yeah, I didn't really like it either, personally. Even I though I saw I really spinning like Roti on the <laughs> YouTube, I was like... It made me hungry, man. I'm trying to cut I know, man. Roti, it didn't look, it didn't look like a perfect Roti either. It wasn't. It was, it was burnt. All over it. It was half of it was burnt. That's the whole thing. Whose Roti was that? Oh, I guess there's a... Yeah, see, Biggie knows like... Just like he burned the brown boys. Pretty much. But... I don't, there was another issue with the other song, Kill Shot, I think Intense Guys did or whatever. Right? Isn't that what it was? I believe he, le- then, he leaked that. It wasn't supposed to be called Kill Shot. He not, leaked that track. I think Sidhu I mean? I should right? collaborate with the LA leakers. <laughs> <laughs> he, you heard the, you've obviously heard the other track, right? The 47 song? That was a huge track. Rappers. That did really well. Stephlon. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm not hardcore into the grime scene in England. But, uh, <laughs> I got you covered. The beats though. are. I really like the beats, though. I, sometimes with the accent is too much for me, man. I, I, <laughs> seriously, this is why like a lot of times those songs don't go mainstream here mm-hmm. because of the accent. Like we're not. Uh, this is me personally. Sorry, I can't speak for everybody, but sometimes the accent is just too much for me during the rap because I'm so used to hearing Western, like n- not yeah, hearing yeah. it, where it's like too much. Like someone like Iggy Azalea, I'm like okay, he got Australia. Thank yeah. you again. There's coming no to the understanding, right? Like especially like in the UK, like you have the UK rap, you got UK garage, all that kind of stuff. Like yeah, everything is uh, so different compared to like. Out here in Canada, United States, right? And uh, no, I get what you mean. Like the lyrics, or sorry, not even the lyrics, but like the accent. Yeah, that's right. The accent, yeah. it stands out so much. Like it sticks out the song. I don't know. For me, it just kind of like, oh, I'll change it. But there's also tracks that I really like too, but not from Grime, just like Englandy accent songs. I think you get used to it though. After you listen to enough Englandy music, I think you catch on pretty fast. No, I mean, you would have to be living in the UK, right? To like, you have true, to have right. the accent yourself. You gotta be yeah, talking yeah. to somebody yeah, that yeah, yeah. speaks in the UK. Accent Absolutely, right? and there are some great UK artists out there as oh, well, for right? Sure. And like Stefflon, Don, like 
they're still leading in mixing and mastering technology. You know, there's the audio the quality is phenomenal. Even artists like Bab Sagu out of the UK, he's doing Unreal right now. He's giving people free beats online and like letting DJs do whatever they want with them right now. Oh really? I saw a seminar thing he was doing or something. He does it weekly right beats. now. He's giving artists beats and like do whatever they want with them. Who was that? Free content. Uh, Bab Sagu. Bab Sagu, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, awesome. I think you met him with us actually, man. Uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Little King right. for that event a long time ago. Long time yeah. ago. And speaking we of forty, actually something. speaking of forty-seven, shout out Steel Bangles as well. Oh yeah, Steel Bangles. Did a great yeah. job. Yeah, definitely. I'm wondering if you missed as well. Sorry. Missed. There were oh, a lot yeah. of people on that track, you guys. Yeah, like it was good. I'm wondering if Musayala will just continue to work with the kid. He's obviously not probably gonna work with the bird guys anymore. But I mean, other than the, even the kid, like he's done tracks with Almond Hair. Uh, what was this other one? Art Slender, can you who um, Game Changers, right? They made the Art Slender track. And Game that doesn't even sound mixed. Like, you know what? As such a big artist, why would you release that track not even finished? Like, it's not, it doesn't even sound mixed, mastered at all. Just levels. It's just like brutal. <laughs> like, you know, and you're such a big artist. I'm glad, just, I'm glad that you mentioned uh, Game Changers. They yeah, had, Game Changers. They had so good. just as far beats as Brown Boys. Like, oh, I, I found I, it. I don't know. I like that. That one song, it's in the, it's in rotation here at the station. A lot of people don't really play it. It's called Modify. Raja, Game Changers, and Jimmy Varach, I believe. Oh, crazy track. It's awesome. And it's a super, super underrated song. But it's kind of one of those slow type of songs. But if you keep listening to DC Mix Radio, you guys definitely hear it on here uh, eventually in rotation. He's also worked with uh, Prophecy too, right? And I love his duets mm. with... Uh that's right, the With Prophecy the track. As well. Yeah, the Prophecy track is actually a good track of his. I think that's probably one of the best songs where he actually is vocal ability. Ball with you. But I'm just trying to see, like, uh, what else, you know? But from Musayara Karnajla. We should have did the poll again today after all this. But, you know, hopefully you got some uh, old something lined up here. Old school, Lade. We'll go back to a couple tracks for you guys. Desi Mix Radio. Uh, keep tuned in on our Facebook live stream at Desi Mix Radio, guys. Make sure you guys join the Facebook page. We're running the live video broadcast. And just want to remind you guys as well, our sister station, Shade A Punjab, 600 AM, will be launching in the very near future under 600 AM. They are currently uh, on 1550 AM, but they will be on 600 AM in the near future. So you will be getting Shade A Punjab as well on 600 AM. So definitely watch out for that. We'll keep you guys updated on that. And you got some more Ghani there for us, Joven? Let's go. Okay, we're going back to DJ here on the decks. Shaka de Mitra. Jim and Siria de la Omega Badana, the Kungala, the Portea, the Peria, the Sajera Mariana, Maretari, Akatofana, Nidu Jadipasanda Teresha, 